What's up you guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm so excited to be doing this review today. It is the NECA Universal Monsters line of the Frankenstein Monster. I cannot express the excitement I have for this figure. You know, I've been I've been collecting Universal Monster figures for a really long time now. And for a while, we was like the Diamond Select line, which is the one. I know there's a slideshow sl uh, slide line. I don't have anything for that. I mostly have Diamond Select. And I really loved that line. And when that line got canceled, I was very sad because I loved the Universal Monster so much. Like so much so that my movie theater room in my house um, is Universal Monster themed. Uh, we go to Halloween Horror Nights and we went... Uh, not last year, but the year before, because I did a Universal Monster house, which is like my favorite house uh, that they've done. Uh, I have Universal Monster tattoos. I mean, I love Universal Monsters. Um, and anybody knows from watching this channel is NECA is my favorite toy company. So the fact that NECA has the license for Frankenstein is amazing. It's like it's like a dream come true as a horror fan. Uh, so take a closer look at the box. It's just it's just this is my favorite box. <laughs> it's just so cool to see the original Frankenstein poster. You get Frankenstein right there. A beautiful image of the figure on the side. Here is more f shots of the figure. Boris Karloff is just such a legend. Uh, another beautiful shot. And then when you open it up, you know there's an image. There is the window box of the figure itself. And then there's another image of Boris Karloff. So I, I, I'm just so excited for this review. Let's get into it. I can't wait. I've been waiting for like a week to open this thing and I finally have time to review it and let's do it. So here we have Frankenstein out of the packaging and he's breathtaking. I mean, absolutely breathtaking. This may be, if this is anything to say about the rest of the line, this is gonna be like the greatest NECA figure line. Uh, right now, my favorite NECA figure line is the Godzilla line. Um, this is gonna be, this is gonna blow it away. I just can see, I just love the design of these. But before we get into him, he comes with two different face sculpts, you know? So you got the options. I actually really like the one he has on. Um, that's the one I'm gonna keep on. I love the classic eye roll look, but these are really nice. He's got, I like the different options. He comes with different hands. This ones are more of the, you know, the grabbing, you know, like when he's going for the neck, you know, so we got those. And then what I like about these hands right here is that they hold so we'll show you that uh we'll show you the what they can be doing um with these other accessories that they have oh, as we fell out sorry about that okay so <laughs> i can't get this one to stay in oh no anyway so i'll just do it like this so then so then they have the with these hands that will hold the flowers so he sees some beauty in this world you know, when he has only known, you know, fear and torture, and he sees beauty in the flowers. So you can have that iconic scene, which I love. Um, and then I just lost the flower again. Um, <clears throat> and then I think what a lot of people are going to use is the chains. You know, you can't have Frankenstein without the chains. So I, I love the fact that NECA gave so much attention to detail and so much options that you can have. But as far as the figure goes, I mean, I just think that is the superior head sculpt. I mean, these are these are all really, really wonderful. Uh, but I just love this one because it reminds me so much of the classic poster. Um, this one is really nice though. I really like that one too. And then, you know, you can see, you know, the costume uh, looks exactly like it would in the film. Uh, I love the, you know, how it's like, because remember he's he's made out of different people. So like, he's obviously freakishly huge. And this is a very small outfit. I love that. I've always loved that over Frankenstein. I love that you can see some of the detailing of the plates on his uh, wrist. You know, I like you got his his uh, elevator shoes, you know, looks really nice. I love the even like the, the dry brushing you get, you know, on the boots. I think that's really nice. You know, you can really see even more dry brushing there that the, the dust and the, the wear and tear that is on this outfit, you know, because they built this man from all these different pieces. I love, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I love the bolts. I mean, just everything about it, just a little attention to detail. I mean, I have another Frankenstein that we're going to compare him to later, which is, I think, which I thought was an amazing figure. I still do. But this figure right here is just so mind-blowingly great. I'm just, I'm so blown away. And one of the things I can say is I'm so happy about, uh, this was, these, it was, they had, uh, NECA had, like, an exclusive with Walmart and, and Target where they would do, like, a Father's Day line, I guess, right? I mean, these will have a, 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 a further release. Walmart got Frankenstein, 
Starlight and Homelander, and then Target got two um, King Kongs and The Thing. So I wanted to get one of the King Kongs, which I did, which we've reviewed. It's the one for the Skull Island. I wanted to get uh, Frankenstein, I wanted to get Homelander, and I wanted to get The Thing. And I'm, I'm happy to say I was able to get them all at retail and did not have to pay scalper prices. So that is a plus. I'm going to tell you guys now, just keep checking your Walmart and your targets and or just wait another month and they'll go worldwide don't pay the scalper prices i paid retail for this guy which is 30 bucks they want like 75 to 100 dollars for him he's brand new guys just wait he'll come you, you know and i don't want to i don't make a big discussion about scalpers because i think every toy collector talks about it but it is frustrating uh you know especially like i was trying to get the thing right in the creating and the prices that they want is just, it's just mind-blowing to me and to see Go on accounts when you see people that have bought up bought up all of them that are in stores. It bothers me. Like when I went, there was like there was like two there was like I'm not kidding like twelve Frankenstein's. I didn't take all twelve. I could have. I, I told my wife I was like you know I could probably make a small little profit off of these, but I didn't. I left them because I want the collector community to help one another and not steal. <laughs> you know. Anyway, but here here's the um <clears throat> the articulation for the head. His he looks up really well. He actually looks down. Actually, his neck is two piecely. Uh, this moves, but the neck itself moves, which is really neat. Um, his arm moves up, it moves down, it goes up, it goes back. It will do a 360, but I don't like to put so much wear and tear on the figures. He has a single jointed elbow. He does have articulation in the wrist. Um, I can't. I don't think there's an ab crunch, but there might be. If there is one, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I can't really feel it. No, no, there is. Okay, no, there's an ab crunch. So he's got nap crunch, his leg will move up, it will move back smidge, it will go up. He's got a single jointed knee, his ankle will go back that far, it will go up that far, and he has ankle pivot. So all in all, I think for a bulky figure, he had, look, he's saying, hi guys, um, he's got pretty decent articulation. Uh, you know, and I, I think like considering how NECA started, to where they are today you know like i said NECA used to be statues you guys ever want to go watch my, my pirates of the caribbean um NECA figure reviews you'll see they're statues or even my jigsaw review that i just recently did um they're statues and that's okay and that's what i grew up with but like these ultimate figures of NECA from the sculpting to the articulation to the detailing are just outstanding there's a reason why it's my favorite figure line of all time which is the ultimate line um and now bringing universal monsters into the mix is just fantastic so let's get some other figures to do some size comparisons with uh with the monster here and see how he stacks up against some diamond select and some more modern figures so here we have and i have to hold the mummy because he doesn't stand really well uh here we have two more boris collar figures we have the son of frankenstein of the monster and then we have the mummy um let's take a close look at the sculpting of the di of the differences between the two and like i said i think this is a really great sculpt but I think this is far superior. But you can both see the likenesses in Boris Karloff. So if you want to do like a little Boris Karloff display, you can. Like one of the things in my monster room, I actually had a wall dedicated to Boris Karloff in my room. Um, I actually have the Frankenstein poster, I have the Mummy poster, and I have the uh, Abner Costello meets uh, Jekyll and Hyde poster. Um, and it's my shrine to the great Boris Karloff. I, I really love Boris a lot. Uh, here is the two head sculpts of the two different figures. And again, um, I really love this figure and I think it's phenomenal, but I just think this figure's way is way more superior. Um, you know, I think that, you know, both great movies, by the way, I, I love the Frankenstein films. Um, but I think, you know, and I think size comparison wise, um, they're obviously a little out of scale. This is a bigger figure, but I think like all in all, like if you want to do a Frankenstein display, it's not so far out of the, so far removed that it doesn't work. Uh, I think these look really fantastic together. And I think, like, honestly, like, if you can get both of them, get both. Uh, I would never tell you to turn away from a great Frankenstein figure. Um, let me get a couple other of the more modern-day Universal Monsters, and then we'll see how he looks with them. Here we have the soda toys of the Mummy from The Mummy Returns of Emotep. And then we have the 2010 Mezco blockbuster exclusive of the wolfman played by benicio del toro so and also spencer weed and uh, uh wildling um played the wolfman he also played darth vader um really fantastic guy um if you see my horror autograph collection you'll see a autograph from spencer where he signed the wolfman and if you guys are curious to see more of my universal monster collection please go to my horror playlist i actually have a full video of all my universal monster figures i'm very proud of it um, but anyway, back to the comparisons. I think these guys look really cool. Um, as you, one of the things I love about these newer designs is I still think they fit within the same vein 
of the classic monsters. And I would like to see NECA, first I want to see NECA tackle all the classics from all the way from the beginning uh, to um, even the Avenue Castella. I want all the universe of monster iterations. Black and white, color, uh, every version of Frankenstein, Glenn, uh, the, uh, Glenn Strange, I'm saying Glenn Close, Glenn Strange, um, Bella Lugosi, I want them all, man. Give me them all, NECA, please, I will buy them all. This will be my new favorite line from you. But these look great, and then I have one more size comparison to show you, and then we will put this review to an end. My final one is The Wolfman for Frankenstein meets The Wolfman. Uh, they look, obviously, I actually think the scaling is pretty well. Hold on, his little branch fell out, you know, technical defect. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that they look really cool. I think scaling-wise is good. You know, Frankenstein is a bigger uh, monster than... Uh, the Wolfman, so I think they look really good together, but I want to show this comparison because the Wolfman is my favorite universal monster, and anytime I get a chance to bring this figure out, it's a good day. So, I give this figure an absolute 10 out of 10. It's in the running as my favorite figure of the year, but we still have the Wolfman to come out. We still have the Creature of the Black Lagoon. We have a Bella Lugosi Dracula, um, and I want to say, did I say the mummy? Whatever, if I said the mummy, I'm saying it twice. But we have quite a bit of universal monster figures coming out from NECA. I implore you guys to go buy these figures. By all iterations, without these monsters, we wouldn't have the Freddies, the Jasons, the Michaels. These monsters are what started everything in horror. These are the guys that made horror what it is. These are the guys that saved Universal Studios multiple times from being bankrupt. From the first time around, from the second time around, the Abbott and Costello, and even as far as Halloween Horror Nights. Um, so guys, I, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think of the Universal Monster line. And I'll check you guys out in the next video review. Thank you. Bye.